it three, four times and can I testify for you? I told I like you, that bitch like you with all that I'm around, you're scared to do it. I'm not. Sorry, it's got a notification on my laptop, but hi, it's Mudgy, and as you can tell by the title of this video and by the fact that I have makeup on, I just got done doing my makeup, um, which means that there is a mess all over my vanity, as well as on the floor, on my bed, <laughs> it's everywhere. Um, so I need to clean up my room, mostly because I literally cleaned up my room yesterday, but I was like, I'm gonna film a makeup video, so it's gonna get messy again. And I did my nails, so it got extra, extra messy. And now I'm just wanting to sort of clean it up as well as record my Mudgy's monthly report. If you don't know what Mudgy's monthly report is, it is where I, Mudgy, report to you guys things that I enjoyed or disliked or was just thinking about in the previous month. This video's month is obviously for June. Reports standing for reading, eating, playing, obsessing, ranting or raving, and treat. So um, I'm going to start cleaning and get into what I was reading during the month of June. Now I have a specific way that I like to have my little makeup box, courtesy of my boyfriend. Um, I have a specific way I like to have it organized. That way I can stay organized because I have a lot of makeup that I use often so I like to keep that makeup in here and then my extra makeup I actually like to keep in another bag which is hold on let me get it right here also courtesy of my boyfriend <laughs> okay so we're gonna start by moving all of this extra stuff somewhere else I feel bad because like my room is a mess hold on it's so hot in here the pan is not blowing on me. Let me redirect it real quick. <sighs> okay, I now have some heat control going on, so. Now let's actually start. Now, for the month of June, I was reading Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood. Now, this book was interesting. I think this was, I don't want to say it was my first enemies to lovers book because I definitely had a few, but um, I think this book was interesting. Um, truthfully, I don't really know how I feel about the book. I hate to say it, but I kind of was just not connected to these people, <laughs> which sounds a little bit harsh, but I don't know. I feel like it was just such an uninteresting month of reading. I felt like I was kind of reading just to really go through the motions and not really reading because I was enjoying what I was reading. Which is honestly interesting because I feel like this was the one time where um, I was kind of reading a book quickly, but that was honestly because I was forcing myself to because if I wasn't reading like quickly I wasn't really reading at all I'll be completely honest but um, the love on the brain the love on the brain love on the brain is a book by Ali Hazelwood which involves B and Levi six four self with his green eyes there's there's a lot going on um also I feel like the book was a little hard to get through um, because I think just the lack of communication really was just annoying. I mean, I understand miscommunication is a trope and I feel like in this sense of enemies to lovers, the miscommunication was what made them enemies, but it just kind of gets annoying a little bit. I don't know. So I feel like for a huge chunk of it, once he actually, once B reveals that they're enemies or that she thinks that Levi hates her, Levi never, he waits to clarify that, hey, I don't hate you, which is something that I dislike because I felt like it took them so long to get to the point where they were just like open with their feelings, more specifically him. <sighs> that book is honestly a lot and funny enough, I actually do talk about the book again for another portion. 
of this um report so expect that later on but i'm going to pack up a little bit There's so much makeup, I don't even know what goes where right now. Okay, I think it's time to get into what I was eating in June. Now, this one, I feel like, I don't wanna say this one is kind of surprising, but I don't know. I felt like I was in a nugget drought for a long time. And for me to now be eating nuggets is a little bit interesting. But um, yeah. I have been eating nuggets. Um, I don't really know why. I think one time I just got nuggets and I was like, why are nuggets good? I've, I've forgotten the joy of eating a chicken nugget with barbecue sauce. It's It's been lost on me and I'm happy because I've refound it. <laughs> but honestly, chicken nuggets is just kind of a really good meal regardless, unless they're bad, which how do you F up chicken nuggets to begin with? That's one. But I don't know. I think that I just hadn't eaten chicken nuggets in such a long time that like I started eating them again. I was like, oh my gosh, chicken nuggets exist. Which I think is something that happens with me a lot of the time with some foods. But I don't know. I feel like unless you buy frozen chicken nuggets or you like go out fast food and have chicken nuggets, you aren't really gonna have chicken nuggets that often. And um, I don't really like the taste of frozen chicken nuggets, at least the ones that I buy. And then I also haven't really been going out to eat fast food. So when I got the opportunity to, I was like, okay. Okay, chicken nuggets, okay. But honestly, I can't really tell whose chicken nuggets I like more. I really like Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets just because like they aren't the standard chicken nugget and they're like more chicken rather than just nugget because obviously chicken nuggets i don't want to say it's mystery meat you can't point to a chicken and show me the nugget part can you no but i feel like although chick-fil-a nuggets are really good and i feel like they make people seem like not they make people seem but they make it seem like it's a better chicken alternative because it's like um not just like a mystery chunk of meat and it's instead like an actually like cut up piece of chicken um that like chick-fil-a nuggets seem better but honestly i just like the regular nuggets nuggets don't matter to me a nugget is a nugget but sometimes i definitely do like chick-fil-a nuggets more little by little we're putting it all together okay but also along with putting things back in my actual makeup box I have makeup everywhere as you guys see I have makeup in this box as well as in my vanity not in my vanity but in my bag on top of that I also have makeup on my vanity I put my setting sprays in this cute little pink thing that I have over here as well as my mascara so so cleaning up for me isn't just really like shoving everything back in its place it is having to actually sit and organize everything especially when i have to separate the things that i don't use every day from the things that i do use more often okay so for what i've been playing by the time this comes out i'm pretty sure this will still be very fresh i have been playing girl so confusing by charlie xcx now i will be honest i am a little bit late to the charlie xcx train and i know that probably makes no sense because you're like maji it's charlie xcx like you've definitely heard her songs and i have heard her songs i've heard many of her songs and i do like her music but i just don't think that the kind of like ray dj music that she makes is really my type of music and i feel like she's one of those artists that um i guess kind of got lost on me but i have started listening to her again because obviously her new green album brat came out and everybody's listening of course and she has a song called girl so confusing where she talks about kind of i don't want to say the drama but i guess it is drama i guess but kind of what went on between her and lord because they do I guess they did have some discrepancies with each other, but um, uh, presumably they had 
sorry, I dropped it something. Presumably the two had hashed it out and this song was kind of the ultimate way of saying, yeah, we did work it out. Because Charlie originally drops the song by itself and she's like, girl, you're so confusing. I don't know if you like me. I don't know if you hate me. People say that we're like, you know, we've got the same hair, you know, we talk about making music. I don't know if you're serious though. And then soon, I think this, the song came out on its own because it needed to stand alone and kind of like, you know, set the table for Lord to come in and prepare the food. Because a week or so later, don't quote me, the Lord feature comes out on it. And she's like, I was speechless. I woke up to, it's so good. Like, honestly, I was speechless when I woke up to your voicemail. You tell me how you've been feeling. Let's work it out on the remix. And I feel like it's just such a song that resonates with a lot of girls. Because I feel like girls, um, at least for me, have like really bad friendship falling out sometimes. Or like disagreements between friends or people that like you feel like you could have a good relationship with. So to see the two of these people actually sit down and be like, you know what? here is what was going on with me and here's how i you know had that affect you and i apologize and i think that it's really good because it's like yes like i sorry i hate to see the girls in music fighting i don't want to see it can we just make music together girls please unless they're like actually really bad things and obviously but it's like it's just so nice to be like girl it's so confusing but like we got each other yeah that's really heartwarming now let's continue cleaning up because I'm getting a little carried away. Oh. It's serious now, I gotta get on my knees because the space where I put my makeup is being taken over by my laptop, so excuse me. I'm sorry, this is really disorganized. I did makeup on a whim, so. I'm usually a lot more organized than this, but on the bright side, you guys get to watch me clean, I guess. Okay, now let's go to what I have been obsessing over. Wait, first of all, RIP my putty blush. I've had this for like forever and it's finally being retired into the trash. Bye. I have been obsessing over dress to impress, impress, impress on Roblox. Now, I will be honest, I'm new to Roblox. Roblox, I can't speak today. Roblox, I'm new to Roblox. Um, I did have Roblox a while ago, like back in the day, but I mostly really just played with my friends and never really explored it by myself. But recently because um, I've been watching a lot of Caitlyn, Corey, and Weston or Sinjin drowning, and they do a lot of videos on Roblox and Dress to Impress, I was finally like, you know what? I'm gonna hop on and I'm gonna play. And oh my God, I like Dress to Impress. I will be honest, when it comes to Dress to Impress, I am a little bit picky right now. I think I'm on the trendsetter or something. Yeah, I'm a trendsetter. I am a little bit picky when it comes to Dress to Impress. I don't wanna say I'm one of those people who always vote one star, but I'm one of those people who always vote one star. You guys can hate me if you want. I don't care a lot of people's outfits they're just interesting and that's all i'll say um another thing i really dislike when it comes to dress to impress or something that i do um along with giving one stars is when people do stupid poses no i'm sorry maybe it's just me being very strict unnecessarily because like yeah it's a game and it's like Take this seriously, this is just to impress. I hate when people go off a theme. I hate when people do stupid poses. Because first they had like the pose 28, which is like the, I'll look for a video, it's like the going forward pose. And then soon, recently they just had an update, so they have a whole bunch of new poses. And now everybody and their mama is doing the splits. Oh my gosh. It drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. If you are ever playing Dress to Impress in the lobby with me and you just start doing the splits unnecessarily, zero stars. I know you can't do zero, but just imagine if I could, I would give you zero stars. And no shade to the VIP people, but I often find that the VIPs don't really have good outfits. No shade. No shade. Um, I actually have some stuff. 
sorry little thing of flying i have some stuff on the bed that i need to clean up as well so i'm gonna get those things and then i'm going to continue Okay, I have cleaned up all my makeup stuff, so I'm going to finish up with my report and then so now I'll clean up my nail stuff and call it a day on this video. Now, let's get into what I was ranting slash raving about during June, which was, as I mentioned earlier, the love on the brain book. Now, I was ranting about this book mostly because this book, I'm not sure why, it felt so long to me. And the thing is like i've not i've read long books you know i've read big books like um what would i say is a big book like all the bright places i felt like that book was a big book but the thing is love hypothesis didn't feel big the thing is love on the brain didn't feel big it felt long like the chapters felt so long for no reason to the point where reading it was just not enjoyable so i barely read it really um i did of course start to actually read it because i do like to do book videos for you guys regardless of whether i dislike the book or not i do like to finish reading the books just so i can add them to my collection of finished books as well as um so i can do reviews for you guys but the book felt so long i think it was because I partially want to say that it was because it was talking about something that I don't really know much about so having to read all these unfamiliar words and having to kind of have like these things broken down to you when you don't know anything about it it's kind of like okay mm -hmm. just have to sort of follow along because for a lot of this book it was really focused on blank which is I mean it's understandable it's what the book is about but I think that because I am coming from like a romantic folk romantic focused perspective i was really looking for romance between b and levi and i felt like a lot of the romance was mostly coming from b's end mostly just like her being attracted to levi and then soon we also got a bit of levi being attracted or in love with b through their twitter conversations but i felt like it wasn't until like the last third of the book where like they started to actually he was like okay girl i like you and then soon they kissed but truthfully i just felt like not connected to them at that point so like even when i got to the point of the romance where i wanted i was just kind of like Meh. even like reading them kissing and you know they want to keep going it's like no not really like i don't really care no shade no shade to them but like i I don't care now let's get into my treats for June which was arguing um more specifically shit talking which sounds kind of crazy to say on camera but um, I have to be honest that have to I want to um, I think that I'm somebody who enjoys a good conversation whether that is a debate or an argument and um, I think that is something I tried not to do because it's summertime who wants to be doing that but I don't know, I felt like I got my buttons pushed and I was like, you know what, I don't really care. So I may have said a few things to a few people. Um, do I regret any of it? No. Most of the time, I don't really regret what I say to people in arguments or disputes because it's a back and forth. It's a two way street. If it really was taken too far, I'd be like, hey, I took it too far. But I don't think in the scenarios that at least I'm referring to that it was taken too far. Um, although I think it's a bad thing to argue and shit talk half and half on that. Um, I think that it's a great way to express yourself and also um, it definitely helps you build your conversation skills because when you argue with somebody or when you talk badly back and forth with somebody you need to be able to reciprocate you need to be able to tell okay this person doesn't really want to have a conversation or they're not understanding what I'm saying so I can either decide to leave it alone or I can 
what I was doing. Just keep pestering and keep going. Um, I wasn't doing it in like any serious situation, so please don't try to be like, oh my god, positivity vibes. Oh my god, like guys, you should not fight. We should not argue. No. Me, I love to argue. I'm stubborn. If I know I'm right on something, or if I feel I'm right, or if I just want to do it, I hate to say it. No, I love to say it. I'm gonna argue with you. Um, and that was kind of my treat because I was kind of like. You know, I was keeping to myself. I was positive. I was nice to myself. And then I was like, you know what? You're not going to be nice to me. I don't want to be nice to you. Um, which I do feel is kind of not the best thing because I can have a bit of a sharp tongue. But it's a blessing. Yeah, it is. But um, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I know that it was kind of random because I was cleaning while I was talking to you guys. But um, I don't really know what to do for these videos. I'd rather actually do something um, than just kind of sit and talk the entire time. Actually, I'm okay with both. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you video, you should absolutely check out my monthly report for last month and the next month whenever you're watching this or whenever you feel like it. Thank you so much for watching. In the description below, you can find my other social media as well as my writing as well as my Etsy shop. Thank you so much for watching, which I feel like I've said that a hundred times already. My brain is like going nuts right now. I'm sorry. I have a headache. I've drinking two sodas today. Way too much is going way too much is going on. Thank you so much. I just said that again. Sorry, I have to say goodbye. I'm not gonna say it again. I will say it again. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye and I love you. Mm.